Hey guys, it's been a while since I posted a video. Just finished a little another DIY thing on my Waterbox 50.3. Tonight I made a lid. Window screen kit from Lowe's, Dremel. I super glued uh, a little piece of egg crate onto each corner. So it'd sit flush in there. And the way the water box is made, it sits flush on the back wall. There's no way for them to jump into the back, jump out. There's absolutely no way anything's getting out of this tank anymore. The reason why I made this is because the other day I was sitting on my couch and my cat was acting weird over here on the carpet. I came over. This guy was in his mouth, my cat's mouth, all dried out. I put him, he didn't move, put him back in the tank and he took off. It's a couple days ago and I was like, I'm not having to happen to my Mocha Storms or my Midas Blinny. Not have, not have letting that happen. Um, no real updates besides I got rid of the Big Rock of GSP so I could put some more high end corals in here. These have been doing fantastic. My Ophelia, my Hammers, my Frog Spawn, the Torch. Everything's a little mad because, like I said, I just put this in and actually, like, just directly blew all the corals around on accident. And the only bad part is I had to cut a little notch out, put some on tape around it so like the cord wouldn't rub against the metal yeah, I know metal is going to eventually rust but it was cheap and I think it looks pretty damn good my enemy has been huge lately those pink mohawk pallies are looking amazing that devil's hand I believe it is leather is looking awesome Eagle Eye Zoas, Rastas. Rastas have been doing a lot better lately. Never got an ID on those. Photobombing Midas Blinny. Nice green Recordia. Don't know how to describe those. Haven't had a positive ID. I know they're Rodactus, but they have like a neon green slash yellow maroon. And like the white actually is like sky blue in person. Got my uh, orange discosomas in there. That's usually it's a little bit bigger than that usually, but you can you can get an idea. My A cans for some reason they show up as like oranges, but they're more red. Some more mushrooms. Some more. Uh, Eagle Eye Zoas, those are closed up. Those Zoas right there are closed up right now because, you know, just some uh, generic green, green, like neon green Zoas. My, as you can guess, Hollywood Stunner, the sweepers on this thing at night are crazy. Pretty sure the last thing besides, you know, the Xenia and the Kenya tree is the Galaxia Coral. Since I had my Salinity Boost, I lost a few heads, but everything is bouncing back, like I said. Even my Ross is pretty excited about that. One of my favorite Zoas. I mean, it's it's my favorite Zoa I've owned so far. So I might get a change of heart when I get something better, even cooler, more designer. Clowns. A skunk cleaner. Midas Plenty. Really love that guy. The only thing I need to get rid of is that Molly. Lately, he's just... Well, it's a girl because she's given birth a bunch of times. But lately, she's been attacking that clown and just beating the absolute crap out of him and I can't catch her yet I need a bigger net or get one of those tank mates bubble traps don't know yet that's kind of like fifty dollars and I don't know if I want to spend fifty dollars for a, a, tra a fish trap but yeah here's a little uh update I got the new lid everything's doing good only loss I've had since that salinity swing was the mandarin goby so the pods are going absolutely crazy in this tank right now. 
I only have ever ordered pots from Algae Barn. I highly suggest them. Um, that's about it. I think I might re replace them maybe with uh, another pair of Mandarin Gobies or a uh, red Ruby Red Dragonette. Well, not Mandarin Gobies, you know, Mandarin Dragonette, but Potato Potato. All the turbos. Yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Check you guys later.